The topic of this video is determining the inverse of a function. Let's look at a problem. Consider the graph of the function f below. Create the graph of f inverse. All right, so f is shown using this blue curve. The line y equals x, which is not part of our graph, it's simply there to help us to find the correct graph of f inverse. Uh, y equals x is shown here as a light blue straight line with a slope of 1 through the origin. This is our identity function. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and go through the process of finding f inverse. The first thing we're going to do is make a collection of the points that are on f of x. We have this point, negative 5, negative 5. We have this point, the origin, 0, 0. And we have this point, 5, comma, 5 thirds. All right, so this problem is harder than others that we've seen for two reasons. One, two of our points don't change when we go from f to f inverse. And the one that does contains a fraction, so we have to know how to graph when fractions are involved. All right, let's go ahead and create the ordered pairs on f inverse of x. So by swapping all the x's and the y's, negative 5, negative 5 becomes negative 5, negative 5. 0, 0 becomes 0, 0. And 5, 5 thirds becomes 5 thirds 5. If you put 5 divided by 3 in a calculator, you get 1.66666. The 6's repeat, they go forever. So one thing I could write here is 1.66 with a little bar over the 6's. Uh, that's approximately 1.67. And so that's going to be helpful to us in creating our uh, ordered pairs for our graph. Okay, so let's plot our points. So we've got negative 5, negative 5, which is here. We've got the origin, 0, 0, which is here. And then we've got 1.67, comma 5. So if we start at the origin, go 1, and then a little bit more to about 1.7, and then up 5, we get this point right here. So now we just have to figure out how do we connect these three dots to make the shape that you would get if you spun the blue curve around the light blue line. So once again, I have a transparency here to help us. So I have traced the dark blue curve and the light blue line onto my transparency here. And so we're going to remove the transparency, spin it around the line y equals x, and that should give us a lot, uh, an idea of what the f inverse graph should look like. So here we go. I'm going to remove this from the board. I'm going to spin it around the line y equals x and put it back in place so that the x-axis, the y-axis, and the line y equals x are where they should be. And this shows us how we should connect our dots together. So we can see what we need to do here. We need to go from the origin up and then curve slightly to the right until we get to that point. And from here, we need to make sort of a, a loop, kind of like the one on the other side. Uh, we're sort of making a, kind of like an oblong, maybe like a lemon shape here at the bottom. So up and then slightly to the right. Okay, let's go ahead and create that. So we need to go up and then slightly to the right. And then down here, we need to create sort of a lemon shape. And there we go. So we have now created our red curve, which is the graph of f inverse of x. The red curve is our final answer to this problem.